This is going to be a fresh flower arrangement in a vase and I'll be using uh, double lilies. I'll be using a hydrangea, about a half a dozen of the really full roses, some uh, greenery, and then some really uh, draping greenery that looks really good with little berries on it. And then what I would call a filler flower, the yellow uh, little astrolite flowers. Then I also have a couple of really big garden roses to stick in at the end. So what I need to do first, I've already filled the vase with water up um, to where I want it. And then next what I'm going to do is take this clear tape um, and then do a grid across the top of the vase. And um, so that will hold the flowers in place somewhat without showing. And I'll do a strip right in the middle, another one right next to it, giving about, oh, a half an inch um, space in between. And then I'll do the grid the other way, about three pieces across this way. Then I'll start sticking in the heavier flowers first. So let me put the grid on, and then we'll start sticking flowers in. Okay, I've got my grid on. There's uh, lines going both ways. And uh, the tools that I'm going to be using to cut the flowers to their appropriate height will be just a flat edge knife to be able to give the roses a nice um, slanted cut. And then this, uh, the clippers I use for some of the lesser things like the greenery and stuff and just clip those. But if you use these for roses, sometimes it pinches their water supply shut. So we try not to use these on the roses. Um, also, I used a course of pair of scissors for the tape and for um, undoing the flowers. So those are my tools, and I'm going to get started. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this as my focal point and put it down low um, so that um, the other flowers can come out from it. It really is a good anchoring because it looks so big and bulky, it seems your eye would think it would be really heavy, so we put it in a heavy position. The other flowers that are more light and airy, like say these or uh, the greenery, those kind of flowers are don't visually look as heavy, so you want them on the outside edges. And then these also would go up higher, whereas the roses and stuff would go deep down in with the hydrangea. So I'm going to start putting those in, and um, we'll take a look at how it turns out. Okay, so, so far I have put in the hydrangea, the orangish uh, sonia color roses, the two large garden roses, and the lilies. Those are all the heavy flowers. And I'm making it into a uh, single-sided arrangement because it's going to be used in a presentation, so therefore the back doesn't look as wonderful, but so all the flowers have been put facing towards the front to make a good display from the front. Now I'm going to start um, filling in with these uh, nice light yellow flowers. Then I'll be draping around with some of this greenery and then finish up and fill in with the long greenery. So um, it, the grid has been working good, just poking things down into the grid and it's staying in place and we'll see how it finishes out. Okay, so there's pretty much um, all the greenery, all the little filler yellow flower, the nice drapey greenery coming out the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it off with just a regular necklace that you would wear around your neck. Only I'm going to put it around the vase and dress up the vase very pretty to make it, take it up to the next level. So this is what it would look like. Um, just make sure that you have plenty of water in the vase after you get it to where it's going. You can take these little outside petals off of the roses if you desire. Some people don't like them on there. I think they kind of add a nice little dimension and a different touch, so I'm going to leave them on. But if you do have some browning petals on the edge of your roses, just peel them off and it will not hurt the rose. So enjoy your arrangement.